Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is on this holiday quick smoky look. I don't even know what to name it yet, but it's on this look that you're seeing right here. And they are all first impressions on these products that I recently bought at Ulta. And it's this Morphe, and I'm so obsessed with it. Um, this Morphe 9A palette. Yeah, I believe it's 9A. Yeah, 9A always golden palette. And it's so creamy and blendable, and the colors are perfect. But I'm going to go ahead and give a quick review right now. And um, yeah, look at those colors. They're like perfect for every day. And it's a perfect travel side. I think Morphe is always popping with the eyeshadows. But I wanted to do a little quick first impressions kind of thing. And I ended up with this look here. It's pretty smoky and quick. I only used three shadows. or oh, four shadows for the inner corner. And um, I used this Melted Latex. Um, and the color... I don't even know. I'm bossy. And I lined it with the um, Kylie Jenner. It was a Mary Jo K uh, lip liner. So I thought I like it so far. So let's see how it wears. Of course, it's a gloss. So I don't expect it to be on the whole day. But we'll see what's up with it. If it's messy or anything like that. And then I also have on my face right now is the Milani 2-in-1 foundation here. And I was hearing a lot of hype about it, but I don't know. So far, yeah, I wouldn't say it's good, but I, don't, I wouldn't say it's full coverage. A lot of people hype it up to be full coverage. But I think it says, like, right here it says medium to full, and I believe it. So, yeah, it's a medium to full. I wouldn't say it's full, full coverage. Um, you have to layer it on so it could be full coverage. And I also tried on these mascaras, but they're pretty average. It's this one that everybody is talking about. And I just took a while for to purchase it and then this one that I just got because I like my lashes to be really black and almost like not clumpy but almost there <laughs> so yeah I tried on those products and right now it is 2.25 and I uh, will be back at the end of the day and um we'll see how it wears so okay so first off I apologize for my voice I'm very sick so this voiceover is gonna sound disgusting <laughs> but i just want to start off by showing you guys the palette that i will be using so the first two transition shades i'm going to be using is myself and aware so i'm just going to go ahead and sweep that across the lid and i start off by applying myself first and then deepen it up with um aware and also i apologize because my skin is very dry over the winter and that is what you guys see when i am blending and just yes, so go ahead and sweep it. doesn't have to be super precise. It could be messy. It's just a little base for the other colors we were applying. So next, I will be darkening up this outer crease with Taken and then adding Storm. So here I am adding first Taken. It's a nice gray, ashy, brownish color and it's very very nice for a smoky eye in my opinion so i like to apply that first and then go in with the black and i start off by making like a little wing and then blending it out and then once i have it blended i like to go back in with the same transition shades and blend out any harsh lines The next shade I'm going to go ahead and grab is the lid shade, which is this nice bronzy color, and it's in the shade Connection. And I will have to say this is really nicely pigmented. When I sweeped it across the lid, it felt nice and buttery. So I'm going to go ahead and just blend that in the lid. And don't be afraid to be messy with this look. It's pretty much like a smoky eye. And same thing, I'm just going to go ahead and blend out any harsh lines. And I also go ahead and re-add any, um, like, the dark colors, like, I go in with the black. Just because once you put the lid, it might, like, disappear. The lid shade, it might, like, make the darkness kind of disappear. And I also go in with a nice fluffy brush to make sure that everything is nicely blended. So now, for the big, like, thing that this video is about is this foundation. And it's the Milani two-in-one foundation and i would say that this foundation does oxidize so 
<laughs> for me personally i don't like when my foundations are super super dark because i do all the bronzing and the contouring and that just makes it like even more dark and i like it a little bit lighter so i do like the foundation but i would recommend getting a lighter shade than what you color match yourself to just because it does oxidize and then here's that first layer and i would just try to zoom in to show you the coverage and for me i do like it better with two layers instead of just one because i prefer the more like full coverage look so that's just me but if you don't really have a lot of things to cover one layer of foundation should be nice and then i'm going to go in with my tarte shape tape in a lighter very lighter shade because i want it to brighten up the eyes the eye area and then once i have that all blended i'm going to go ahead and get the same transition shades that I was using and apply that to the, the lower lash. And following with the shade Surprise to brighten up the inner corners of the eye. Okay, so following that, I had already powdered my entire face, and now I'm going to go ahead in with my Kat Von D uh, contour kit and just go ahead and go over the, the cream contour that I had done previously, and just layering that and warming up the face, like I said. And I did lighten up the face with the um, concealer, because I thought it, the foundation was a little too dark, so... Here is that step. And next I'm going to go ahead and apply the blush that I'm going to use. And I do believe this is a L'Oreal compact that I'm using. The blush from. And following with the... <laughs> I was super surprised seeing it on the camera. But this is the shade Opal in the highlighters from Becca Cosmetics. And I am obsessed with this shade. Recently, yeah, I keep applying it all the time. But yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and hit that to the um, cheeks and then nose. And then I like to go in with my brush and kind of go over the cupid's bow and then below my eyebrows. So these are the two mascaras that I purchased at Ulta. So I'm going to go ahead and use those. Okay, so now grabbing the Too Faced Melted Latex Liquid Gloss, I'm going to go ahead and apply it. And I had... I already lined my lips with the Mary Jo Kate lip liner from the Kylie Jenner lip kits. And then I'm going to go ahead and fill it in with the liquid lip gloss. And I will have to say, I actually like this and it smells really nice. It's a very like HD finish and the pigmentation stays out, stays throughout the whole day. The only thing is that when I'm eating and everything, it does get a bit messy for my preference. I want to do a little close up of the makeup here. So... Like I said, it's 2.25 and then I'll be back shortly to do a little... Let me see if I could do it in the middle and then at the end when I'm about to take my makeup off. So I'll be back in a few hours. Okay guys, so what time is it? It is... Uh... 4.30 and I'm doing a quick check-in and everything pretty much seems the same. It's not the best lighting in my room, but let me see if I go this way. Yeah, everything's pretty much the same, just the lipstick to transfer, so I don't know. I don't really like glosses because of this, but I don't think it's really much the glosses fault as I was eating, but I sort of like the color payoff. It's still there, but yeah, I'll update you guys later for the foundation. Okay, guys, so it is 7.53 right now, and shh. I bought it. <laughs> I'm Skyping my fiance, but, uh, ooh, I zoomed in. Ooh. Okay, so this is the foundation. As you can tell, I think it's a little bit oily, but it's not cakey, and I kind of like it. So, I will be using it. Ew, I've been looking crusty. I went shopping today, and the mall was full, so it survived all that. And, yeah, I think 
this is the last update if not if i go out more and i wear it out for longer i'll do another update but yeah so i so far so good and i'm liking the foundation